So recently I've had a number of people asking me, can you input manual waypoints on the Hornet? And you actually can currently. It's still a little bit in development. You press the menu twice, go to HSI, go to your waypoints, and you can see I've got my flight plan. If I press sequence, you can see it displayed. Cycle through my waypoints. I can get the data on my waypoints by pressing data. You can see here the coordinates, grid, and elevation of each waypoint. I can input new waypoints by pressing the Waypoint Sequence UFC button here. I will then press INS or Insert, and I'll enter a number 6, press Enter, and it now saves Waypoint 6 into the flight plan. I can delete waypoints by pressing Delete and entering the number I want to delete, so let's say 2, press Enter, and Waypoint 2 has disappeared. Now if I scroll up to Waypoint 6, you can see there is no information present. I can enter Longitude and Latitude coordinates, via the UFC. If I press UFC here, I now gain information for position and elevation. If you're not familiar, you can gain longitude and latitude coordinates via the F10 map. Simply look in the top left hand corner, you see the north, east and elevation. This is shown relative to your mouse pointer, so if you put my mouse pointer here, we can see the longitude and latitude and elevation of that current position that the mouse pointer is over. So with that information, let's input that onto waypoint 6. I press the UFC button, press position, and now I need to enter in my coordinates. So we'll start with north, so I need to press 2 to select north. I need to press in 250736. Enter. You can see it has changed. Note, I, note that I put in 36 and it has given me a 6 on the end. I couldn't say why that's happening, might not understand it, or it could just be incomplete. Next, I'm now entering my east coordinates, so 6 for east. You see I've actually got an extra 6 by accident, so I'll press clear. East, 6. Now I need to press in the coordinates, which are 55, 0, 7, 1, 8. Press enter. You can see I've now got the coordinates entered. I now enter my elevation, which was in feet. 14 feet, enter. And again, it's 13 here rather than 14. So, now that I've set up my waypoint, I can use this to designate as a target. So if I go back to my HSI, in the bottom we can see Weapon Designate, or Waypoint Designate. I press this button, and we see TGT has appeared. The waypoint is now dedicated as a little box. And on the HUD we have a diamond indicating its location, and the distance to it. So if I turn toward it, As we get closer, in the centre of the HUD, here we go, you will see a number of degrees off from the waypoint, along with an arrow pointing toward it. So as I turn toward it, you can see the flashing diamond indicating the location of the waypoint. And there we have it. There is our waypoint as a visual reference for finding targets. You can use this with the CCIP bombing mode, simply as a visual reference to help you find your target, or you can use it with the CC RP or Auto mode to give you queuing for release. It is worth noting that sometimes you may have a waypoint that is set up incorrectly. For example, if I cycle my waypoints to waypoint 3 and press the designate button, now we'll now turn toward it. You might notice this waypoint is in fact in the sky. This is not terribly useful for bombing or trying to find targets. We can quickly fix that however by going back into data, selecting waypoint 3, you can see the elevation there is 6561 feet, we don't want that. Go to UFC, elevation, feet, 0, enter. Elevation is now 0. If we look back to our queuer on the HUD, set it back as target. And now find out again on the HUD. You can see our waypoint is now on the ground level. So that's a quick overview of the manual waypoint entry and waypoint target designation. It's worth noting that in the early access press manual there is actually no information on this topic so this is guesswork and also probably not complete. So bear in mind things may change a little bit. But I hope that'll answer your questions.